In this video, I'm going to talk about stack and queue interview questions and answers that are frequently asked during an interview. Hello and welcome to Career Right channel. I'm Nishant and without wasting time, let's get started now. Now let's begin with the first one. What is a stack? Where is stack used? A stack is a linear data structure that follows a particular order known as last in first out, that is LIFO, where an element is added from the top of the stack and removed from the top of the stack. A stack of dinner plates, a pile of books, etc. are the examples of stack in real life. Now Java provides a built-in class named stack that provides the functionality of a stack data structure. There are five methods in the stack class that are commonly used in the stack data structure and they are push, pop, peak, search and empty. Now let's understand each of them. Push is used to add an element to the top of the stack. Pop is used to remove an element from the top of the stack. Peak method returns an element from the top of the stack. Search method returns the position of element from the top of the stack. An empty method is used to check whether the stack is empty or not. Now here is an example to create a stack data structure in Java using Java built-in stack class. Now in order to create a stack, we need to import java.util package first and create an object of stack class and then we can perform push pop peak operation on the stack object. So here we have printed the stack and then removed an item from the stack. The removed item is tennis, which was last in. Now let us understand some of the applications of a stack. A stack can be used for evaluating arithmetic expressions in programming languages. Now stack data structures are also used in backtracking algorithm. We can use stack to reverse data as the data is processed in LIFO way. So last element will automatically be returned first and hence resulting the reversed data. Stack can be used to undo function in any text editor. Stack is also useful for processing function calls. Now coming to the next one, what is stack overflow and stack underflow? Stack overflow is a logical runtime error that occurs due to excessive memory usage on the call stack. And when this error occurs, program crashes and can either freeze or close the program. The main causes of stack overflow are infinite recursion or using very large stack variables than the size of the call stack. Now, stack underflow is a runtime error that occurs when an application tries to pop out an element from an empty stack. Now, the next one is what is a queue? Give some example of a queue in real life. A queue is a linear data structure in which the elements are stored and accessed in a first in first out manner. That is, elements are added from the rear and removed from the front and Java provides a built-in interface named queue to provide the functionality of a queue data structure and it extends collection interface. Since a queue is an interface, we cannot provide its direct implementation and in order to implement its functionality, we need to use class that implements it. Now a queue data structure can be created using the queue interface as follows. Now let us try to understand some of the commonly used methods of a queue interface and they are add, peak, remove. Now the add method inserts the specific element into the queue. It returns true if successful and throws an exception if not successful. Peak returns the head of the queue and returns null if the queue is empty. Remove returns and removes the head of the queue. It throws an exception if the queue is empty. Now let's have some examples of a queue in real life. A queue of people waiting for their turn at the ATM machine 
or in a theater waiting for their tickets are some of the examples of a queue in real life all right so the next question is what are the types of a queue there are four types of a queue first one is simple queue in a simple queue insertion is done at the rear and removal is done at the front it is strictly follows fifo order second is circular queue in a circular queue the last element points to the first element and creates a circular link the main advantage of circular queue over simple queue is efficient memory utilization now the next is priority queue a priority queue is a special type of queue where each item has a priority associated with it in a priority queue an item with a high priority is served before an item with a low priority if the items with the same priority occur they are served according to their order in the queue and the last one is dq that is double ended queue dq is a type of queue where insertion and removal of elements can be done from both ends hence it doesn't strictly follow first in first out order now the next question is what are the applications of a queue now let's understand some of the applications of a queue data structure and the first one is cpu scheduling the tasks that the processor needs to execute are stored in a queue and using the fifo order the task that are scheduled first is then sent to the processor for the processing next is printing queue multiple documents can be sent to the printer for printing and are stored in a queue the ones that arrived first are printed first next is in asynchronous communication for example in whatsapp if the recipient is offline the messages sent to the recipient are stored in a queue on the whatsapp server now the next one is what are the similarities between stack and queue there are two similarities between a stack and a queue they are both linear data structures which means that they are arranged in a sequential manner and every element is connected to its previous and next element both stack and queue are dynamic data structures now the next one is difference between stack and queue data structure in java stacks follow the last in first out order whereas queues follows the first in first out order in the stack insertion and deletion takes place from single end called the top whereas in queue insertion takes place from the rear and deletion takes place from the front in a stack insertion is called as push whereas in queue insertion is called as end queue in a stack deletion is called as pop whereas in queue deletion is called as dq in a stack only one pointer is needed to perform the operations on a stack which is called as the top whereas in queue two pointers are needed to perform operations on a queue which are called as rear and front all right so the next one is why and when should we use stack or queue data structure instead of array or list stack or queue should be used over array or list for the following reasons we can use a stack when we want to get the elements in the reverse order we can use a queue when we want to get the elements in the order we put them in fifo also stacks and queues are used over array or list when sequential access is preferred because arrays are better for random access all right so the next one is what are the advantages of a heap over a stack stack and heap are the data structure in the memory that are allocated by the operating system during execution at run time stack is used at run time to store primitive local variables and references to the objects it is a temporary storage memory which stores temporary variables created by a function storing data in the stack is faster as compared to the heap a heap is also used at run time to store the objects that have global access 
and can be referenced from anywhere in the program. Basically, the heap is a memory used by the program to store global variables. Now, let us try to understand advantages of a heap. A stack is mainly used for static memory allocation, whereas a heap is mainly used for dynamic memory allocation. Variables in a heap can be resized. And the main advantage of a heap is its flexibility. Because a heap doesn't follow any order, meaning memory is allocated in any random order. Whereas a stack follows last in first out order. Objects in the heap can be allocated and removed in any order. 